Good afternoon, beloved children of the Lord. You are welcome this afternoon to King's Palace International online service. Our maiden Sunday online service. You are welcome. May the Lord bless you for taking your time off to be with us. We worship the Lord, praise his name, share his word and pray. The time that we are in, I don't think you need a soothsayer to tell you that we are in dangerous times. But we are not surprised because the Bible has not made us ignorant about the things that we should expect even towards the last days. And it tells me and it makes some of us whose faith deep rooted in Jesus Christ not to be shaken at all, that we shall not fear whatever comes our way because our strong tower is the name of the Lord. Amen. For the Bible says the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run to it and be saved. This is the time that the righteous is not ashamed to run to the name of the Lord. And the Bible declares also that in Psalm 91 that the Lord is our refuge and our fortress, Amen. our hiding place. And so we thank God for your life and we are praying that you are safe wherever you are, you and your family, your dear ones, your loved ones, your children, both here in the United Kingdom and across the globe. We are praying for the good hand of the Lord to keep you safe from this coronavirus that is spreading as bushfire and taking lives rampantly all over across the countries of the world. But I know, I know, the Bible says 1,000 may fall on one side, 10,000 may fall on our right side, uh, but nothing by any means shall come close to us. We shall only see uh, the reward of the wicked. So I thank God uh, that you are watching me it tells that you are safe. And I declare, even if there are any signs, any symptoms of that which is going on, we can still declare that you shall be set free because of the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, we know that the Bible says that uh, by his stripes we are healed. We believe in Jesus. And in fact, uh, this is the time to show the faith that we have in Christ Jesus. Amen. And um, we are coming your way. I'm Pastor King, and I have with me here... Pastor Augustine and pastoral supporter Daniel Opong. And we have our beloved also here, our worship uh, ministers who led us to worship the Lord. And with all of you at KPI and even beyond, we welcome you once again and we pray to be a blessing to you. And this afternoon, I just want to share a small word of the Lord with you. And I believe the first thing that has affected so many lives, so many families, people, Christians, and non-Christians, is that spirit of fear. People are wondering what is going on. Uh, there's a whole lot of uh, conspiracy theories flying across WhatsApp. I believe you too, you have received from a friend or from somebody about behind the scenes what is going on. But in fact, what matters most to us is that if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? If the Lord be for us, this is the time you must have that confidence that there is a God who is on your side. Uh, uh, in such a time like this, that we profess boldly that there is a God who is for the earth. Sometimes people tend to forget about that. Think we can do without God. And when things are okay, I wake up in the morning and I go to my work, I get my money, my children go to school, they come back home safely. Uh, why would I need God? But at a time like this, that even the righteous may enjoy because they have God who was their and do not fear. Uh, Came to let here a appear real. That is how I could have an acronym of the word evidence appearing. What is going on in the first place is real. People are dying. It's in the news. Uh, are all over the world. Countries, people are dying, people are dying, 
more people are being infected by the COVID-19. Uh, it has got a wonderful name, but we pride ourselves to know the name. Coronavirus, COVID-19, however, we know that whatever has a name, by the mention of the name of Jesus, by the mention of the name of Jesus, Amen. by the mentioning of the name of Jesus, Amen. every knee shall bow. Yes. It doesn't matter who, whatever, whatever virus. It doesn't matter. In fact, the, our confidence, the Bible says in Isaiah that it is God who has created the, the spoiler to cause havoc. So at times we wonder, is God in such a matter? People wonder, if God is love, why all this calamity going on? Bible also says it is God who causes the destroyer to cause havoc. At times, God knows how to attract the attention of people. And I think some of us, he has attracted our attention. Look what is going on, the instructions and directives coming from the government, which we all must do well to abide by social distancing. We are getting new vocabulary all across the place. Lockdown, uh, shutdown, whatever, whatever. And in, in, in that spirit, uh, when the government space of minimizing social contact, we must also adhere to. In fact, when you read uh, Isaiah 26, verse 20, the Bible talks that we should go to our room and shut the door behind us until the wrath God has brought will pass over. Amen. It's in Isaiah 26, 20. So uh, lockdown, there can be a spiritual lockdown. Yes. Hallelujah. That we are put in our house, and nobody knows when until when that will be lifted. So people are panic buying, stockpiling food. Oh, Jesus says something, and it is now coming to pass that man must not live by bread alone. Can you imagine how we are struggling to get food in queues for two hours? Get food, but at times in peaceful time, two hours in church is too long for us. We have stayed too long in church. But people are prepared to stand in the queue. Whether it is raining, whatever the weather is, they don't care. They must get their food. I pray that we, our test for the word of the Lord shall come as, as we are testing for food and water. And God is in heaven watching us. And the Bible says that Israel, they could have taken their journey very shortly, four years or so to the land, to the promised land. The Bible says that God intentionally caused them to be in the desert with suffering, agitation, hunger, depression, and all that for 40 good years. Do you know why? God has intention why Israel took 40 years on the desert. He said, for me to know what is in your heart. At times, God allowed this to happen. For him to know who is a rare Christian, or a rare Christian or a church goer. So those listening to me, Brothers and sisters, that your faith is anchored in God. It is not a time to panic. It is not a time to fear. A very popular quotation, Psalm 23. Uh, if pastor will read for me, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I know you know it by heart. So let's dive a little bit into it. Amen. He says that the Lord from one place. Psalm 23 verse 1. Yes, sir. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Amen. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Let's, let's hold it there. Uh, I want to... Uh, emphasize on in fact English word basically picture that death. How does it look like? How does it feel like? How what was he going for? Uh, that's a stage that he referred to it as valley of the shadow of death. Uh, he said one thing that not 
shadow of death. If we will have faith that David had in his God, that Yedo, Yedo means that that thing is not a fantasy. The thing is real. It is a decision. People are falling in the fear and the And I pray and we declare that sin, even as you are listening to me, Amen. in your house, in your car, in your room, I mention your name yes. and say, I shall not fear. Amen. It is the word of the Lord. It is the word of the Lord. Amen. In the before coronavirus, yes. the word shall be there before, after Praise this God. too shall pass away. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Dicto. Says that what separates us from the love of God? The Bible is not apologetic about things. If it is good, it talks about it. If it's bad, it talks about it. It says, if you be us, against evangelist of the matters and, and the things that are confronting us today. You are listening to your BBC. You are listening to your CNN. May you listen to God TV. Amen. What is the book of Isaiah? What shall we believe? We shall, re, we shall believe the report of what? The Lord. His report says, I am healed. His report says, Amen. I am secure. Amen. His report says, I am strong. Amen. His report says, the blood is speaking for me. Hallelujah. His report says, he is my refuge. Hallelujah. His report says, he is my fortress. Hallelujah. His report Praise says, he is my hiding yes. place. His report says, yes. he is my strong tower. His report says, he is my rock. His report says, I am secure. Amen. Whose report do you believe? Lord's report. Can you imagine the world? Slowly, surely, it's changing. Now churches has been hold, being held on online. Nobody knows how long this is going to be that we will be shut down. I have purpose in my mind. Even for one year, should it be impossible for churches to meet physically as we meet in our churches? What will you do? Should it be that the matter escalates? It affects our internet our the, the waves and all the social media is cut down and i can't call you you can call me i can't send you a whatsapp message you can send a whatsapp message you can't call a friend and you are shut in your room for the next one year have you asked yourself what will you do this is the time to think that whatever comes our way whatever no, the believer doesn't, is not afraid of death. At times I think all this panic is going on because now I found out that people are afraid to die. One death, people are afraid to die. But the Bible says, blessed is the one who die in the Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, whether we live or we die, we belong to the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says, precious is in the sight of the Lord, the death of the righteous. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of hunger? That very soon you will not get food to eat? Are you afraid of sickness? Are you afraid you won't get... You, you have, you have lost, some have already lost their jobs. What are you afraid of? That's the question. And 365 times it has been mentioned in the Bible. Fear not. Fear what not. Because God knows what fear can do to one. It can paralyze you. It can steal your faith. Fear is a demon. Fear makes a macho man to be like a toddler. Fear. Ladies and gentlemen, because of fear, there was an uncircumcised Philistine in the name of Goliath. And a whole army of God and their king, they were quiet. Until a boy came Hallelujah. on the scene. 
Ebo, who said, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. And so his confession, when matter fear confronted him, he ran back to the word of the Lord and said, You, uncircumcised Philistine, Goliath, today I will cut, cut off your head and I'll feed your carcasses to the fowls of the skies. Ladies and gentlemen, there must be a clear distinction between those who believe in their God. Amen. Not just being a church goer, not just be a, 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 a theologist. I remember secondary school back home, some years back home in Ghana when I was at secondary school, secondary school, and some of our teachers, uh, we teach us Bible knowledge. Those who are listening to me may uh, understand what I'm talking about. BK, we call it. But the teacher does not have to be a Christian. They have learned it. They have got a PhD in Bible knowledge. But they teach you, and during break time, you see them smoking. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just about reading your Bible. It's about, Ladies and gentlemen, we have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but we are yet to know God fully from Genesis to Revelation. Every day there is a, an opening of his greatness, of his glory, of his power, of his benevolence, of his love, of his mercy. This is the God that I am presenting to you. In this pandemic, he will show himself strong. Amen. For the Bible says in Lamentation that the steadfast love of the Lord, they are renewed every morning. Yes. We are not consumed because of his mercies. Yes. The mercies of the Lord is with you. Amen. The mercies of the Lord, they are with you. Hallelujah. Amen. So do not fear. If we are locked down, sing hymns unto the Lord. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is King's Palace International. This is Pastor King. We came your way to encourage you. To bring your mind back to your God. Amen. That if God be for you, can be against us. who can be against us? Ladies and gentlemen, there is no story in the Bible concerning God's people that the glory of the Lord was seen without God's people going through tribulation. Testing time. You must have your testing time to know whether the profession of your God, it is based upon real faith or just some gimmicks, some emotional gimmicks. No, this is the time to be like the three Hebrew boys. This is the time to be like Daniel. Declaring your faith in the face of adversity. Me, I am happy. Amen. Me, I am happy. Because I know a God I can run to. Yes. Why should I be afraid? Why should I be afraid? Don't be afraid. Single mother, you are caring about your children. Don't be afraid. Uh, talking about single mothers today is Mother's Day. This uh, corona, how is it called? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus has made us to forget, forget even to wish our mothers, our wives, uh, happy Mother's Day. Let me take the opportunity to do that. May the Lord bless our mothers. Amen. May the Lord keep you strong. Amen. May the Lord, you are a com comfort to our children, to husbands, to the family. You keep the home. You suffer for us. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. And we KPI, Pastor Kane here, we wish all the mothers a very happy, blessed Mother's Day. A year by this time, you won't be shut down. Amen. You will be going out there to rejoice. In. Amen. Your husband will be taking you to the cafe oh, or to the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Your children will be taking you to a special cruise. Yeah. To but this time, it is different. Amen. If you are alone, some of you, you are alone. There is no husband, there is no wife, there is no child. You are alone at home. Know that God is with you. Those of KPI, your pastor is open to any call at any time. My number is 75 uh, 3019 Should you be calling outside United Kingdom, it is plus 4475-8830-1975. So we are here and to bless you. We are going to be with you in few moments of prayer, declaration of prayer and then we will come and worship the Lord. Amen. And those of you who wants to be a blessing to the church financially, financially you are also 
uh, welcome to bless God's work at KPI Ministries. Your offerings, your tithe, and I believe you have the details on, on the screen. The account number, the sword code, and those even outside uh, United Kingdom, there is an IBAN number that you can bless us financially for the work of the Lord to continue. Shutting down the physical church does not mean the church is, going, is not going on. So may the Lord bless you. I came your way to say to you, do not fear. What did I say? Can you repeat after me? At your homes, in your car, wherever you are. One, two, three, say, do not fear. fear. One more time, can we say, do, do not, not fear. fear. One more time. Do not fear. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We are lifting up prayer. Lift up your, your voice wherever you are. Lift up your voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, let the sound of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. The Bible says, Those that have been called by my name, we shall pray unto him. We shall turn from our wicked ways, call upon him, humble ourselves. He will hear us from heaven and he will heal our land. We need the Lord to heal our land. We need the Lord to heal the airwaves. Praise your holy name, Jesus. We magnify you. Thank you so much, Lord. Do not fear. Thank you so much, Lord. Jesus, so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him as his word. Yes, Lord. And to rest upon his promise and to know that said the Lord. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. how I trust you. How it is sweet to trust in the Lord.
College International KPI Ministries. I am Pastor Kane. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for taking your time. Bless you. May the Lord keep you. Guess words. Know that there is a God. forgive us today about our late and there was a little technical glitch uh, we will do well to be, be with you on may the Lord bless you amen, amen. and as I said if if uh, it touches your heart it touches your heart to be a blessing financially a blessing to the ministry of God, KPI. Uh, our bank details is as follows. Uh, that is Lois Bank, Lois Bank, uh, KPI Ministries. Account number, if you may take your time off and write it down. Account number is 40 I take it account number 40 six nine zero zero six eight and our short code number is three zero nine two four five one more time short code is three zero nine two four 